Wall Street's record close overnight bolstered most Asian shares on Tuesday as growing confidence in the U.S. economy underpinned investor risk appetite, while the yen slipped to fresh lows on speculation over imminent monetary easing. The benchmark Standard & Poor's 500 stock index. SPX extended its winning streak to seven sessions and touched its highest intraday level since October 15, 2007 on Monday while the Dow Jones Industrial Average. DJI closed at a record 14,447.29. Reflecting rising risk appetite in the wake of Friday's solid U.S. jobs data, the CBOE Volatility Index or VIX, VIX which is often used as a gauge for risk ended Monday at the lowest level since February 2007. The MSCI's broadest index of Asia Pacific shares outside Japan. by ATJ000 Plus was up 0.2%, led by its financial sector. by ATJ FN00 Plus with a 0.5% gain. It looks as if it's an echo of US trading overnight where the finance sector was the best performing sector, said Michael McCarthy, chief market strategist at CMC Markets. Australian shares. AXJO erased earlier gains to inch down 0.1% after hitting a fresh for one half year high. South Korean shares. AS11 fell 0.3%. Hong Kong shares. Chu and Shanghai shares. SSCC each rose 0.5%. Japan's Nikkei stock average. N225 added 0.4% after reaching a fresh for one half year high. Encouraged by yen's drop which helps boost the earnings of exporters. The Nikkei was on track for a ninth straight day of gains. Dot T. Dollar buys upside. The dollar has benefited from last week's strong U.S. jobs data while the yen remained under pressure from expectations for further easing steps from the Bank of Japan to bring the country out of deflation. The latest rise in the dollar slash yen stems from U.S. factors, such as improving economic indicators rising stocks and yields climbing, and 97 yen looks to be in sight, said Koji Fukai, CEO and currency strategist of FPG Securities in Tokyo. The dollar slash yen may pause in the second quarter, when U.S. economic indicators typically show seasonal weakness, but even so the dollar's downside will be limited to around 92 yen, with a fall below 90 yen becoming increasingly less likely, he said. The dollar rose to 96.71 yen on Tuesday its highest since August 2009, while the Australian dollar climbed to fresh four and one half year highs on the yen of 99.55 yen, aided by a report the incoming Bank of Japan governor might convene an extraordinary meeting soon after taking office later on this month. The Nikkei News reported Haruiko Kuroda, the nominee for BOJ governor, may launch new monetary easing steps soon after he takes office next week rather than waiting for the bank's first regular policy board meeting in early April. Dollar slash yen was already very bid overnight, consistent with the backup in U.S. Treasury yields. The Nikkei story has just given it a bit of a kick and it's certainly adding to yen weakness, said Sudran, senior currency strategist at RBC in Hong Kong. The euro was trading up 0.2% against the yen at 125.84 yen. Against the dollar, the common currency was down 0.1% at $1.3031, weighed by worries about Italy's inconclusive elections last month delaying the country's fiscal reform efforts. Strength in equities weighed on assets typically linked with risk aversion, with the 10-year U.S. Treasury yields pinned near an 11-month high around 2.07% in Asia. Spot gold edged up 0.2% to $1,582.74 an ounce caught in a range and capped by a key technical resistance of its 14-day moving average, which stood at $1,583.32 on Tuesday. U.S. crude was up 0.2% to $92.21 a barrel and Brent crude steaded around $110.20.